Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy E2 Blue once again coming at you again with yet another video. Another time for you to see my ugly face. Yes, I'm out here just finishing work and just seeing all the crazy stuff headlining in the news. I mean, today, it's, I'm just going to say, it's never a dull moment in the NFL. So, you might have heard already, you might not, but I'm going to let you know now. Jerry Jones loses again. Yes, Jerry Jones loses again. He is going to pay the NFL more than $2 million reimbursement for the allegations on Zeke and all of the stuff that happened last year, the National Anthem, and uh, again, Roger Goodell wins. <sighs> When can we catch a break? I mean, it's like, come on now. Jerry Jones tried to appeal the situation. Didn't happen. Ezekiel Elliott tried to appeal his trial. Didn't happen. Roger Goodell wins. Roger Goodell gets him to do his six-game suspension. Now Jerry Jones is going to pay them back the $2 million that they spent on court fees. Ain't this about a, I mean, I, the NFL is like turning into like Uncle Sam. I mean, it's, it's like the Undertaker at this point, like, give me the money. And I, and I don't know how y'all feel about this, but it's getting ridiculous. It really is. I mean, I understand why Jerry was trying to get Roger Goodell out of there, but Sometimes the way that he goes about things gets him in trouble. But again, those risks that he took got him to become the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, got him to be the innovator in the NFL. Literally, the sponsorships that you see today, I mean, that big Nike deal that he did when all the other owners was like, what are you doing? He was an innovator. I mean, look at what the Cowboys have done statistically in their own organization. I mean, like, nobody was, was doing their stadiums like that until the Cowboys did. Nobody had the sponsorships like that until the Cowboys did. Nobody, Nobody's media department was as advanced as the Cowboys are and was at the time. And all teams are following suit and emulating. But... Sometimes you have to pay the price to be an emulator, you to be to be a trendsetter. To be a trendsetter, sometimes you have to pay the ultimate price. Now, in this situation, it cost us two million dollars. And it also cost us a six game suspension from Ezekiel Elliott. Hmm. Now, I know y'all heard about Alden Smith and finally getting caught up by the police and from Finally turned himself in from his domestic violence. How many times, first of all, how many times has Alden Smith been in trouble since he's been in the league? <laughs> how many times has he been suspended? A couple. But, okay, Randy Gregory gets kicked out. Does a whole year suspension multiple times. What, he had a four game, then a 10 game, then a whole year, and now he's trying to get reinstated over weed. Now, granted, weed is important as far as the NFL goes, but it's legal in some other states. It's not legal here yet where we live, but in places like Denver and Seattle, you know, it is. It's legal, but at the end of the day, weed and domestic violence, there's no, there's no comparison here. Like... Alden Smith shouldn't he, shouldn't have had he shouldn't even had the ability to be even play like he should have been kicked out of the league indefinitely. Now, granted, San Francisco finally released him, but knowing a desperate team, they're gonna pick him up. So, it it's really frustrating because when you sit here and think about the things that. The Cowboys have done, and then you look at other teams 
their players have done similar stuff or even worse and done less time or not even get suspended at all. You don't hear about it in the news. And you sit here and wonder, like, you don't want to you don't want to say in situations like they're being biased or 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 it's hate towards this particular team but at this point i feel like there's no other option to think that and at first i was like i was kind of on on the fence about you know just jumping to conclusions and saying oh they're just hating on the cowboys and this and that i didn't want to be that homer you know what i mean but looking at everything now and 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 seeing how this, all these situations are rising and how like if, it, it really feels like they're picking on the Cowboys. And again, I don't play for the team, so I don't see everything that they see. But even from the outside looking in, you can tell that there's issues going on that other teams are getting away with that we don't. But again, it's, it's upsetting me. I'm not even I'm just going to let it go. I'm not going to talk about it no more. Um let me know what you guys think about that whole situation and that conspiracy and, and, and the fact that we just get cheated out of stuff. And I mean, it. let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um, also, another thing I want to touch on before I end. Michael Bennett, defensive lineman for the Seattle Seahawks, is getting traded to, yes, the Philadelphia Eagles. What the hell? Wait, how much salary cap does the Eagles have right now? And they don't have a whole lot of players that are going into free agency this year. And they just won a damn Super Bowl. You remember before when, um, when Chip Kelly was the coach of the Eagles? And he brought all his little Oregon Ducks and all his players, whether they were good or not, to the team. And they, quote unquote, had the dream team at that time. I hate to say this, but uh, Doug Peterson is over there doing the damn thing right now and literally trying to make a dream team. I mean, they're like, they're, they're, I mean, I feel like they're trying to be the Golden State Warriors of, of the NFL. Like, just all these all stars on one team. First of all, just thinking about Michael Bennett being on that defensive line for the Eagles is like, what the? First of all, the defensive line was already good. They had they had him. Well, they're going to have him now. And your boy Fletcher Cox. Mm. Mm. Cowboys, can we please counteract on this? We got to get some players in here. Like I said, we have a good base, but I know y'all see what the Eagles are doing right now, right? So, figure it out. Do what you got to do. Get Des Bryant's numbers down. Get some money from Travis Frederick. Get some of this money back. Because we need to get somebody in office. We need to make some splashes this year. Period. This is our time. The Eagles are out here trying to get... They're trying to repeat the Super Bowl. They ain't playing. So, Cowboys, can y'all not play? Let's be aggressive for one time. And let's be creative with this goddamn play calling going forward. Because this, this whole conservative, every team knowing what we're doing every five seconds is not going to fly anymore. We got it. We got it. We got to fix this and get it done. Um, again, the Seattle Seahawks, they're rebuilding right now, as you can see. They're going younger. I, Richard Sherman said he ain't coming back. His mama even said he ain't coming back. So who knows where Richard Sherman's going to be next year? He's still coming back from his Achilles tear. I mean, he has issues on both of his Achilles tendons, both left and right leg. Like I said in the last video, they're trying to keep Earl Thomas, but we want him in Dallas. Now, Jerry, Jason Garrett, Go get that boy. Go get Earl Thomas right now. You got to trade a fifth round and a sixth round for him. Whatever you got to do, go get it. We got 10 goddamn picks. Go get Earl Thomas and go get him right now. And then on top of that, let's move up in the first round and get Derwin James. 
safety out of Florida. We need to make this deep. We need to make the Cowboys the Legion of Boom. And let these stars shine. Because other teams are laughing at us. NFL analysts are laughing at us. Nobody is taking the Cowboys seriously right now. Let's get this shit done. I'm sorry for cursing, but I'm just I'm 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 flustered right now. Let's get it done. Let's let's get it done. No more of this pit patting around, getting these low end players that nobody even heard of. Lead these orphans to bed and let's go get some superstars. Let's get it. And I understand that we ain't got no money like that, but we got to figure it out. We got to figure it out for the benefit of the team. Figure it out. Other teams are figuring it out. Figure it out. The Eagles went and got players. They got Jay Jai last year. They got Blunt. And now they get Michael Bennett. Figure it out. Or every time we play the Eagles, they're going to whoop our ass. And I know y'all don't want that. Because I damn sure don't. Because I can't stand the Eagles fans. So, or, or the team in general. So at the end of the day, let's get it done. With that being said, I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks again for all my subscribers. I appreciate y'all support. Shout out to Virginia's Finest. Man, I appreciate you, bro. I do. I really do. Follow your boy. Subscribe. I appreciate the love y'all giving me right now. I'm going to give y'all some more uh, draft prospects that I'm still working on. Um, just look out there for, for on my next video. I'll probably do that when I get home, either tonight or tomorrow. <sighs> Until next time, y'all. Have a great day.